guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today I'm here with Megan, who is my fellow bookworm. I've known you for like almost a year. Yeah, I know. It's coming up on like, a year soon. I think so, like April, right? Yeah, April would be a year. So you've heard me talk about her 110 times, but you have never actually <laughs> met her. And we've always been talking about doing a tag together or like discussion type thing. And so that's what we're going to do today. And we're going to do the TMI tag. Okay, question one. What are you wearing? Um, pants and shirts. <laughs> this is from Madewell, right? It is. We were together. This we is from it. Madewell, and my black pants are from Target. Target. There you go. That works. Come Gap and Gap. I'm wearing yeah sweatpants, which I'm not gonna show you. Okay, question two. Have you ever been in love? I have not. I have. I'm married, so hopefully. But yeah, that would be definitely the answer. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Three. Ever had a terrible breakup? I've always been the one to initiate the breakup, so not really, because it's always been something I was wanting. But was it still terrible? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have had several mm -hmm. very bad breakups. How tall are you? Five, five and a quarter. I know exactly. Five, five and a quarter? Five, five and a quarter. <laughs> I think I'm taller than you, but I think I'm only five, four. No, you must be taller. I must be taller. <laughs> really? Maybe I'm shrunk. <laughs> Well, I think we're even. We're about, about we're about even. Okay, that works for me. We're around five four, five five, mm -hmm. ish, ish. How much do you weigh? Do you want to answer that? I'm not answering I'm that. I'm not answering that either. Any tattoos? Yes, I have my quotation marks, a triangle on my ankle, and three birds on my side. I have one tattoo, and it is a bird, which it will be upside down for you. But yes, I have a bird on my wrist. Any piercings? Yes, I have uh, my lobes pierced and I have my cartilage pierced. I've re-pierced it like seven times by myself. Does that hurt? Yes, <laughs> a lot. I have my ears pierced once. I have them pierced. Yeah, I had them pierced a second time, like I don't know, in high school, and I let them close up. I like wore earrings there for like a week and then took them out. OTP. Who's your OTP? One true pair. Oh, you want to go first? That's hard. Oh, I know my answer. You know your answer. I know go my for answer. it. Okay. I was obsessed with Gilmore Girls and uh, Luke and Lorelai. Ah, uh, yes. Always. Yeah, still in love with them. Oh, I completely agree with that. Gosh, what's one for me? Oh, okay, I have one. Uh, Andrew Parrish and Cameron. Oh my gosh, I'm so I, I thought I knew yours. And it's not What good. are they? What are I they? was going to say from, from fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it was from the, um, the Bronte sister. What is it? Not oh my right. god, you're right. That's exactly it. She knows it better than I know. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rochester and Jane. Yes, that's so much. Yes. Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre. Right. Yeah. What is your favorite show? Off Air? On Air? See, I had the same question. Off Air for me is Lost, hands down. I love Lost. On Air for me? I don't know. It's between Sons of Anarchy and The Following. And I can't decide. Well, I have yours. two. I have Tell two. Me. Okay, for currently On Air, Game of Thrones and Walking Dead. Ooh. And for of all time, I Love Lucy. I'm starting to love I Love Lucy and it's your fault. It's amazing. It it's is. like the best show ever. And it holds up. It holds up. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite band? Ooh. That is hard. We're really musically oriented. And we have very similar tastes in music. Yes. She's like my musical twin here because she's the only one that likes like these really eclectically ec eclectically. It's like <laughs> indie bands and yeah. not mainstream. Who's yours? I put Passenger. Because mm. I've been loving his stuff for months, and Langhorn Slim, the law. Langhorn Slim was what my initial thought was, because I love everything. Oh. Right? Ooh, or Ray LaMontagne. I've really been oh, listening yeah. to him but so much. But see, that's much. my thing, because like, I have so many of their individual artists. They're not necessarily like bands. bands. I would probably have to say if it was band than Langhorn Slim. That's the only thing I can think of, because I've been listening to them so much lately. So. I, yeah, see, that's where I am. Like, I couldn't think of anything that I was listening to more currently. Yeah, so this is kind of like current favorite, current not necessarily favorite, favorite of, of all, all time. time. What is something you miss? Something I miss. I miss not having responsibilities. I thought when you said that, like, I miss having not... <laughs> <laughs> like, I miss having responsibilities like I have. Okay. No, not having responsibilities. Yes, yes. Yeah. I gave up a lot of... Okay, I'm doing that whole like paleo primal diet, mm -hmm. so no sugar and no gluten and among other things. So I really just pizza, pizza and burgers. I just pizza burgers, pizza burgers, pizza burgers, pizza burgers. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite song? That's oh, I actually have this one. Um, March by Justin Vernon, lead singer of Bon Iver. 
Oh. It's not even like a published thing. It's not on I iTunes. I thought Bon Iver was his name. I don't know. Maybe he's one of the singers in it. I just, I know that that name belongs okay. in that band. To that dude. Okay, my favorite song, hands down, Sit Here by Molly Bentner. Oh, I, oh. Uh, That's, yeah. I, I love that her. Song forever, and it will never get old to me. I love that song. I think if I had to pick individual artists, you might have been my favorite individual artist. Because yeah, I'm obsessed with like, her. Especially the Love Me Like You Mean It album. Oh, oh my gosh. God. It's, every song on there is brilliant. Mm -hmm. So good. I'll write you a letter. Oh. Shaky ground. Mm. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> like, <laughs> Great Ocean. Oh, it's so good. So underappreciated. Yeah, nobody knows her. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Yeah, <laughs> Molly Venture, M O L L Y Venture, V E N T E R. Love me like you mean it. The whole album, amazing. Oh, so good. What's your zodiac sign? Oh God, how do I say it? Sagittarius. That's how you say it, right? I think so. Okay, that's how I'm I say it. Okay. Quality you look for in a partner? Um, a good listener. That's a good answer. Because I like to have someone that can listen, because if they have to talk the whole time, I feel like I can't share my feelings with them, and then, I don't know. It's hard I, to, like, build relations with someone if you don't feel like you're on the same page. Definitely, it has, like, they have to be very easygoing and kind of, like, a calm, even-tempered person, because I am so crazy. <laughs> yes. Like, I could not handle somebody who had, like, my level of anxiety or frustrations or, yeah, impatience. It would, it would be a disaster. What is your favorite quote? Oh, we've been talking about this all day. <laughs> favorite quotes. Um, okay, my default one that I love so much, but I didn't want to be so unoriginal by saying it again, but it's I Go to Seek a Great Perhaps by, I'm about to butcher a name here, Francois Raviolis, something French sounding. <laughs> so I was trying to find ones that were more relevant to me personally. There are so many poems and stuff about love or about different things that aren't necessarily relevant to me, but I love the description or the way that a certain emotion is provoked by it. So I tried to find something that was a little bit more relevant to me, and I ended up picking uh, this Tyler Not Gregson one, which is, I finally understand that I do not write, I leak. Because it's like, part of you that's this writing, and it's just, I don't know, I like it. I love that too. What are you? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Mine is, um, Everything you see or hear or experience in any way at all is specific to you. You create a universe by perceiving it. So everything in the universe you perceive is specific to you. And that's by Douglas Adams, and it's found in the Ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I loved but that one. I love that sentiment, that idea that, yeah, it's your interpretation of the way you perceive everything. Who's your favorite actor? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought of one immediately, and I'm just like, and I know you hate him. Who? You have to say it. Um, my initial thought was Leonardo DiCaprio. I hate him. I know you despise <laughs> him. I hate him so great. As far as all-time favorite, Michael Fassbender. Ooh, he's hot. Yes. <laughs> so that's another option. Yes. What about you? Um, favorite actor of all time has got to be Anthony Hopkins. Nobody better. I, yeah, I definitely agree with that. And meet Joe Black. She was his daughter <gasps> in that movie. Oh my god, that is like seriously one of my top ten favorite movies. I love movies. that movie. Everybody talked about that. that. I love I that. That's like one of the movies where I fell in love with Anthony Hopkins in. I forgot I so need good. to mention Rod Pitt too because he's a great guy. <laughs> Loud music or soft music? Loud. Loud. Where do you go when you're sad? Probably my bedroom. Me, yeah, bed. And TV. Like, I go to escape whatever I'm thinking by watching TV. How long does it take you to shower? I'm very fast at showering. I can be in and out 10 minutes. I wouldn't say I'm fast, but that's about how long it takes me to about 10 minutes. Yeah. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Oh. Um, I actually know the exact number for this because I've been late to class almost every day this week. Um, it takes me an hour and 45 minutes. That's, yeah, I, I go really bad. Well. I was like, I did not want to say this because it takes me about two hours and I know that's pathetic. YouTube gets in the way. You're like watching right. videos and you get distracted. I <laughs> It's YouTube's fault. It's YouTube's fault. Have you ever been in a physical fight? A physical fight? Well, actually, yeah, I have. I'm not going to get into the details of that, though. Really? Yeah, right? oh. oh, my goodness. No. I, a, a girl did hit me once. She slapped me, but, you know, either way. Did you hit her back? 
No. <laughs> You should have wailed on her. You should have. It was my opportunity, but no, I was I was the bigger person. I just walked away. Oh. She hit like a girl anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what is your turn on? I'm trying to think of like whether it's a physical thing or something they do. Get both. Get both? Okay, um eyes for me. Oh no 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 no. Smile. I think a smile is definitely a big one. And then if they're good with kids, I just I turn into a puddle of goo. <laughs> It happens every time. For me, mm -hmm. big turn on facial hair. I love beards. Oh, yes. We love scruffy. I do. agree. Like a scruffy bit of beard, that is... Mm. What turns you off? Um, arrogance. Oh, that's my answer, too. Really? Arrogance and bad hygiene. Both will <laughs> yes. kill it. They will kill it. Well, yeah. You go up and you hug them and they, they smell, smell like armpit. Yeah. That's not exactly attractive. The reason I joined YouTube. What's the reason you joined YouTube? Um... Well, that, that's kind of an easy one. I can make it short. Um, I didn't have any friends in my real life life that really read short of Shalini, which you guys have seen like in a couple videos. But she doesn't read at my pace. I read multiple books a month until recently. <laughs> but I just, I didn't know anyone that read books that I could talk about to them. And I wanted to talk to someone, but my family doesn't want to hear it. I saw Poland and Bananas 20 or books, I guess, for her book channel. And then I saw the readables and I'm like, you know what? I think this would be a lot of fun. And I just, I wanted people to talk to about books and share their books with other people, so that's yeah. why. I joined YouTube to watch videos, and I don't <laughs> upload videos. What are some of your fears? Ooh, okay, I have a list of these. Me too. Um, I'm claustrophobic. I can't do big crowds, especially if it's hot. If it's hot, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Um, I'm also afraid of dying in an airplane crash or hijacking, anything like that. That airplanes, I have to mentally prepare myself for months in advance. Buried alive and burned alive or eaten because you were alive. It's the long death yeah. that you could think of beforehand. Like that one line from Before Sunrise. Like, yeah, she being explained aware. it so well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being aware that you are going to die. Those moments where you know like you're absolutely gonna die, those moments of certainty. I have, I've had these like recurring, recurring nightmares since I was super tiny about being chased and being trapped, being mm -hmm. surrounded by snakes. And then ever since Hurricane Ike, I'm terrified of thunderstorms and any kind of natural disasters. Yeah, hurricanes, tornadoes. What is the last thing that made you cry? Okay, so she got me to watch this, uh, it's like a full series, right? Another yeah. movie series? Yeah. Called Spartacus. Mm -hmm. And Spartacus Blood and Sand, the first season. Yeah, the first season. And I watched that and I don't want to like give spoilers, but basically someone dies who I was very attached to. And I definitely cried really hard on that. I hate crying. I try not to ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like like super sentimental things for that mm -hmm. reason. Last time you told someone that you loved them? Um, probably like two hours ago. I was talking to my dad on the phone. Oh, yeah. How about you? This morning to my husband. Thank you, dear. What is the meaning behind your YouTube name? Bookworms talk. Oh my gosh. Um, Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bookworm, people who like of the books, and who talk like of the books. who like of the books, and people <laughs> who talk of the books. Yay! Yay! <laughs> what is the last book you read? Oh, uh, Completed? Mm -hmm. As Often as Miracles by Clementine Von Raddatz. As far as full-length book, it would be um, A Beautiful Wedding by Jamie McGuire. The last book that I read was Divergent, and before that was A Beautiful Wedding. Mm -hmm. What book are you currently reading? Convicted by Aletha Romig, Gabriel's Redemption by <laughs> Sylvain Bernard, and Rock Bottom by R.K. Lilly, and probably 10 other things. Those are just the ones that are my, you know, but I'm really reading Convicted mostly. And I'm like halfway through all of them. I am currently reading, what is it called? Insurgent. Insurgent. I'm reading Insurgent. What was the last show you watched? Ooh, I watched The White Wedding in two days, which you need to look it up. It's a Stars miniseries. Oh, yeah, yeah. So good. But I guess technically the last one I watched was Spartacus Blood and Sand. Probably Gilmore Girls this morning. I watched it like from ABC Family when I was getting ready. Who is the last person you talked to? Um, my dad. <laughs> I'm, I'm so cool. Hi, dad. You don't watch my videos. <laughs> you don't even know I have a channel. All right, the last person. I, yeah, before her. Yeah. Before you. Before, before me. Yeah. yeah. That was my husband. Saw him off this morning. What was the relationship between you and the last person you texted? Ooh, texted? That would be Mackenzie. She's like my sister from another mister, I guess is the saying that the cool kids say that I don't say and I sound you weird sound saying it. So weird saying. <laughs>
the last person that I texted was my stepmother. See, we're just not fun. <laughs> what is your favorite food? Pasta. I don't know. My favorite food changes like every week. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm loving these banana pancakes. What is a place that you want to visit? I want to visit Rome mostly because my art history classes reminded me how much I love Rome and just the architecture and the art in general. I want to see London too, but mostly Rome. I want to visit Greece. It's, ooh, I've been like seeing so many pictures and I want to go so badly. Oh my god, the water is gorgeous and the architecture and the ruins, but mostly for the beaches. The beaches look amazing. <laughs> and also Croatia. It's where they film a lot of Game of Thrones. What is the last place that you were? Um, downstairs. Right? <laughs> that was my answer. Oh, technically, the last place that we were was Barnes & Noble. That is actually very true. Do you have a crush? No. Celebrity crush. Let's make it just a celebrity? celebrity crush. Um, okay. Michael Fassbender and Matt Bomer. I don't care if he's gay. I still think he's attractive as hell. <laughs> okay, I have probably like a hundred different ones. But let's say, hmm, give me two seconds. Ooh. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, mm -hmm. Charlie Hunnam. Oh, I have to add that. I have yeah. to add him. I cannot He's believe beautiful. I forgot. He's, He's beautiful. beautiful. Michael Fassbender, definitely on that list mm -hmm. for me. What about Woman Crush? Do you have Woman Crush? Mm-hmm. Sure. Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, yes. Jennifer Lawrence and Robin Wright's daughter. <gasps> She's mm. beautiful. Too. She is so pretty. When was the last time you kissed someone? Um, God, I don't even remember because I don't even, like, kiss my parents. I can't remember. Me this morning. Husband. Bye. <laughs> well, well, I'm not going to my dog. I don't know name. <laughs> when was the last time you were insulted? Um, when was the last time I saw my brother? <laughs> that, that's when it happened. I was at DSW, and I was trying on shoes, and I had two different shoes on, you know, each of the feet. I was looking at the mirror, standing there, and this girl kind of walks up to me, looks down at my feet, and does, like, one of those, like, scoffy eye rolls, like, and walk, starts walking away. And I started laughing at her reaction, she turns around and was like, Oh no, they're pretty. And then turns. I'm like, what? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but she wasn't, she was kind of trashy. Well, <laughs> she has no taste then. What is your favorite flavor of sweet? Probably coconut then. Mm, it's a good one. For me, it's chocolate. Pretty much anything chocolate. What is your favorite piece of jewelry? My class ring. I don't know, it's shaped like that kind of. Um, it's like shamrock. I don't know. I have, I have a lot of pieces that mean like my wedding ring would be a favorite piece of jewelry. Um, but the one piece of jewelry that's completely irreplaceable to me is I have my grandfather's dog tag from World War II. What was the last sport you played? Horseshoe. <laughs> that counts, right? <laughs> okay, then you're gonna like my answer. Poker. <laughs> no, we do! Yay! What is the last song that you sang? Oh, I was listening to Molly Venture in the car. Oh, were you? I was. Great Ocean. I think that was one. As we were setting up, I was singing um, Firefly by Mofro. And what is your favorite chat up line? Oh, okay, it's like a pickup line. Yeah, pickup line for us women. I can't think of any that have actually been successful. Yeah, that's my thing. I have never, no one's ever tried to, I've never gotten a line. I've never, yeah. Me neither. Oh no, I haven't told you. I don't even think I've told the vlogs this. Okay, so when we were going to NOLA, we stopped at a gas station and there was a subway inside and Courtney and I were starving and so we're in like BFE Texas, nothing is out there. And Corey goes off to grab something and I was just going to pay. And then the guy that was making our sandwiches, he goes, do you work out? I'm like, excuse me, what? Because I don't think I heard him right. And he's just like, do you work out? You look really good. And I'm just like, no, I never work out, but thank you, I'm flattered. <laughs> So I guess that is a pickup line. That's a pickup. Do you work out? No, that I never do. Bad but line. thanks. That's a bad line. That wasn't very good, but it made me feel good because yeah. he said I look nice. In addition to your favorite chat up line, have you ever used a chat up line? I don't think I. I don't can't remember the last time I used one. If I did, yeah, I've never used one. When was the last time that you hung out with someone? My friend Keith at lunch. A week ago it was my husband's birthday, and we had people over and play poker. I need to learn how to play poker it's again. Fun. I used to know how, I just don't anymore though. It's a good game. I lost my money though. <laughs> oh no, maybe I shouldn't have you teach me. <laughs> I'll jump teach me. And 50, which will be a question for you. Okay. Who should answer these questions next? Hmm. Let me think. Brianna at Brianna's Book Babble to answer this. And 
Darby McDowell. I think that's just her name, her YouTube name. I just, I know her by Darby because we're first name basis. And Book Talk with Jess. So I hope you guys liked this and I'll see you guys later next time on Book Talk. Bye!